I'm Kelly Marie Tran. I'm Aquafina. I'm Don Hall. I'm Carlos Lopez Estrada. I'm Quig Win. Come join us on an epic adventure. Inspired by the people and cultures of Southeast Asia. And you're watching Just Do It. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yes. I wish to join this fellowship of Kekaroya. Let's go. สวัสดีครับ Hey guys Hi 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 How are you Hi yeah. I am Jerry from Thailand a YouTuber from a channel called Just Do It I got to say man I watched the film last night and it is incredible man the way you guys put together and visualize Southeast Asian cultures also my culture is so stunning And c- cinematic, you know, very cinematic. The very climax of the film is like, whoa! It made me cry twice. I mean, <laughs> it makes it makes us cry. Yeah, yeah. It's visually stunning, heartwarming, and also deeply relevant to the world we're living in right now. But most importantly, you nailed it, as Raya. You nailed it. You nailed oh it. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, this movie means a lot to me for all the reasons that you said. Uh, it feels really relevant to the world that we're living in, and to see all of the specificity that went into making this movie in order to authentically represent that part of the world—that means so much to me. Being part of a family that's from Southeast Asia. We're going to share a meal with them. <laughs> Wait, what? But then also like all of the fun parts and the humor and and the food and the silly parts of it. This movie is just. I feel like it has something for everyone, and it means a lot to me that you liked it because I uh, I love everyone who worked on it. So. Impressive. We could use someone like you. And I heard the crew made the, a large portion of the film from home too, right? Mm-hmm. That's correct. Absolutely. Yeah. About you know for the last uh, you know about mid March the last year. Um, is when we all uh, went home and brought our computers with us and uh, and basically did 95 to to 99 of the production was done at home, Whoa. including including the the vocal recordings. Oh, that is challenging, I must say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay, we need to keep going. I know you've been asked this question millions of times, but. How does it feel like being the first Southeast Asian Disney princess? Ah, uh, it feels crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is weird because I know that it's, I know that it's happening, but I, I feel like I still don't really believe it's happening, and that's a very strange thing to say, but it's just true. It's just it feels so much bigger than me. The the lore behind it, and then sort of like being part of this legendary establishment, it feels like a big honor and a big responsibility and a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are a big fan of Disney princess, and you're now <laughs> being one right now. It's like whoa, surreal. Mm. Yeah, it's like a miracle. It doesn't make sense. You're right. It's like magic. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could magic. Better, but it, it just is. <laughs> Who said that? I gotta say, I've never been this excited for a long time. You know, because I'm a big fan of you, huge fan. Like, oh, thanks. You made me laugh my head off in Crazy Rich Asian. Bok bok bok. And burst into tears in the farewell. You never told me what was going on. Now here you are. We're speaking like face to face, but <laughs> yeah. on a cyberspace. Yeah, but it's okay, man. First thing first, uh, I gotta ask, what's it like being a dragon? Oh wow, being a dragon's awesome. Ah, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not like the best dragon. It's almost like you get. It's like kind of like being a human, but you have like more powers. You know. Hold on. Oh, we were doing a jumpy thing. Sorry. I definitely did feel um, like uh, like I could do a lot more as CC. Yeah. Ah! I just shape changed. Dragons can do that. Look how close my butt is to my head. 
It's gonna make digestion so much faster. Do you ever wonder that one of many reasons that Disney casted you because your name kind of rhymes with a bottle water name? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, wow, I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything to do with it. Because actually, I am a really bad swimmer. I, oh, yeah. I, I, I can do like a, a small doggy paddle, you know, <laughs> uh, like a couple of feet, but I, I, you know, it's not, I can't do much. So, I, I don't think Disney, I don't, yeah, they didn't ask me for a swim <laughs> test, so that was good. That was a bad thing, yeah. I'm a really strong swimmer. Carlos, you directed a small budget film before. Blind Spotting is a film I really love. Hey, stop! Go shoot, go shoot. And I want to know what practice of indie filmmaking you put into use in this one. We realized Don and I have, have such different backgrounds in filmmaking, as you can imagine. But we realized early on when, when we started working on Raya that we, we had so many similarities in the way we think about stories and the things that excite us in our inspiration. Kui as well, he has a very specific, uh, very different background from both of us. Uh, we found out that that we really were speaking the same language. And even though uh, uh, the, the tools that we've had for making movies and the scale of the movies that we had made uh, were as different as could be. Also because Raya is so cinematic, the look of it is, is, is really, really feels in many ways like a live action movie, in many ways animated, but the camera moves, the editing choices that we made, the style choices, the music choices that we made. It, it, we were really thinking about it almost as, as a live action movie. And I think that is what, that clashing of worlds is what makes it feel uh, so interesting and so different, I think. My daughter, I believe our people can come together again, but someone has to take the first step. One last question for Kui, okay? Mm -hmm. This is your first film and also an animated film that is based on your culture, which has never been done before in Hollywood. Is it a smooth sailing or like getting a blood out of a stone? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was actually, uh, I would say pretty smooth sailing. I give a lot of that credit to Don. Like uh, being the veteran in, in this, he really kind of walked uh, Carlos and I through this process. And and I mean, it definitely was our imaginations kind of Voltroning together to create this movie, but it was definitely his leadership his uh, mentorship that really allowed us to be able to, to to get through this as well as we did and, and have, um, you know, have, make the movie. Let's catch you up. My name is Raya. Our lands have been at war for as long as we can remember. Our people never see eye to eye. In order to restore peace, we must find the last dragon. You are glowing. Oh, thank you. I use aloe and river slime to maintain my- No, no. Look. Oh, this, this is my little sister Amba's magic. I got the glow! When were you gonna tell us she was Sisu? Uh, well, technically, you always knew she was Sisu. Seriously? Last Dragon Raya กับมังกรตัวสุดท้ายวันนี้ในโรงภาพยนตร์ก่อนจากกันไปบอกพวกเราหน่อยครับว่าคุณคิดอย่างไรกับ Raya and the Last Dragon ถ้าคุณชอบคลิปสัมภาษณ์คนทำหนังก็อย่าลืมกดซับกดแชร์กดไลค์และกดปุ่มกระดิ่งแจ้งเตือนเอาไว้เพื่อไม่พลาดหลากคอนเทนต์สุด e x c l u s i v e เจาะลึกถึงหนังกว่าใครที่เดียวที่จอดอ just do it พิมพ์จัสและอิดภาษาอังกฤษส่วนดูภาษาไทย